So we'll start from here. This is when you're walking in my shop. You can see my little jointer here, my little grizzly. Um, and I got my DeWalt planer. This is on a stand I built for it. Wheels. Walking wheels, of course. Hooked up to dust collection. Uh, on the wall back here. Uh, I put this in last summer. Uh, it gets pretty dusty in here sometimes, so I put this guy in and cleans it out pretty good, pretty fast. And my saws and my, I don't know what you want to call it, I just call it a board jig. Uh, tools, of course tools, sharpening station. Sure would like to change out that little ace grinder though, get a slower one. Uh, drill press. This is an idea I took from a guy off of Pinterest, I guess. This is actually a Craig clamp bracket, I guess you call it, I don't know, bar. Um, I just sprayed it black because I don't know, I wanted it to match a little better. It's all coming off real fast, but that's all right. It works real well. It's fully adjustable. Gives me a dead straight surface, and uh, my little flip stop fits on here real well, so I like it. I like it. Dust collection right there out the wall. Um, runs down underneath, of course, uh, my bench. All oh, my, the tools that I need handy, I guess, is most of my tools I keep in the, in the drawers and things. These are my daily tools, I guess. Band saws, just little guys, but just a little shop. I made this little dust collection table. Um, works pretty good. I can pop it in and off and it shares dust collection off of the back. I just plug it in when I need it. So that, that, that works pretty good. Uh, sanders and yeah, dust collector, shaper. Here's my bench. I bought this bench. It's a Harbor Freight bench. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I did a little work to it. I don't care. I couldn't have built the damn thing for, for what I paid for it. So I, I just did a little bit of work to it. Of course, I had to thicken the bottom when I put this in there. Because uh, it's only like, it's not an inch thick hardly, the top. So I, I stuck some good support underneath here. I'll, well, probably six inches across all the way. And then there's my, my Craig router table. I love that guy. I just, uh, I love it. Only thing I don't uh, care too much for if Craig watches this ever, is I, I don't know why they didn't make a, a tape marking side for this side. So it, it's, every time I set this damn thing, I gotta measure off of the fence to the, to the rail here, and then I gotta measure from this side to the rail, because you lock this one in separate. Um, I know some of you might not really give a crap or understand, but yeah, it's a pain in the butt. This is a brand new jig I just made. Uh, I just kind of copied it from a picture. Uh, this is for splining. Um, turned out good, turned out good. I'm pretty happy with it. It's adjust fully adjustable, so it'll fit right onto my DeWalt tier. Love this saw. This saw is awesome awesome saw the fence on this thing once you got this thing dialed up it's dialed up square uh, track and rail so very nice the only thing only complaint I have is for dust collection um, 
I don't know why DeWalt didn't do something. As you, as maybe you can see, I, I've got some uh, tarp that I've cut and hot glued in here, filled the big hole on this side and again on this side, and that made it changed like at least sixty percent. I'm, I'm serious, at least sixty percent better dust collection. And I've got uh, Grizzly Air Cleaner up there. I'm seeing his, his filter's pretty dirty. Toolbox, saw blades, nail screws, that kind of stuff, paint and stuff. It's pretty full in here, so I, I pile it in wherever I can. It's my little jet. I, I wish I had room for a bigger lathe, but... It is what it is. I I get a lot, I do a lot with this little guy, and now I have this new dust collection system. Very happy with this. Very happy. Just slide this wherever I want it, and, uh, along with Rockler's uh, dust rate collection up here. My tool lathe tools. Although I had to. Oops. Caught my foot there. Had to mount some of them on my little drum sander there because uh, I just didn't have enough room. Once I put this new dust collector in here for these two guys, but they needed it. They needed it. Uh, back on the wall, there's my Incra stuff. I I love that tool. It's awesome precision tool. Yeah. You can come back and make the same cuts again and again. It don't matter if it's two days later and you've changed your, your miter six times. You come back and you can set it and it's going to be the same cut. And here on my DeWalt stand, again, is my rigid chop saw. Ten inch chop saw, compound miter saw, double bevel. That's a great saw for anybody who's looking for a saw, man. I highly recommend that saw. Dust collection on it sucks, as they all do, but since I put the new Russo 5000 on there, I'm kind of keeping everything in the bag at least. It's got a dust port back there, and I do got it hooked up. But because this runs, you know, there's so many lines running, yeah, the ceiling in this old place is pretty bad. That's something I really should get around to. But it's just one of those things that I never never gets to, I guess. There's always something else. Um, but there's just so, many, so much line running off that little one horsepower dust collector there. It really uh, doesn't do the greatest job of sucking, but... As long as it keeps the light stuff out of the air, I'm pretty good with that. Uh, this is my cross-cut sled hanging there. Air conditioner, I haven't unwrapped that yet. It's, weather's been weird up here. Some clamps. I got clamps all over the place. Keep clamps up here. Uh, again, and there's another Incra tool. That's my eye box. Awesome little box joint jig there. Let's see. There's some more clamps there. Clamps wherever you can get them. I guess that's just how it's got to go. These are a couple I picked up down at, uh, where the heck was it? Menards, I want to say, for like 13 bucks. And they're, they're heavy duty clamp. Um, they're a cheap brand, but I, I think I paid. Thirteen dollars a piece for them. Damn, they're well worth it. They got that long neck on them. They crank down real well. Super good pressure. Nice. My picture frame jig. That's below there. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much my shop. Not a big shop, but I, I stuff a lot in her, I guess. Or so they tell me. I don't know. I I could still probably come up with a little room if I needed to, but all right. Well, oh, and there's Caesar. He's getting up from his nap. He's always out here with me. This big boy. He's a good puppy. All right. Thanks for watching.